Hi there, I want to talk a little bit about um, object styles in InDesign. Uh, this is really easy to do and it may save you some time if you work with a lot of frames that may have a, like a stroke or a certain fill or a shadow or something like that on them. And also I have some text here with some you know uh, different effects on too like embossing and a shadow and I have this bar down here where it has a gradient in it and I also have a shadow on it. So let's take a look at this. So basically if I come down and I click on this frame here we can see that it has a black stroke and no fill so let me go ahead and click on it and I'll fill it with my swatch panel here with a paper color. Uh, I'll go over to my stroke panel and I'll bring this up we'll say to five points of stroke I'll change my stroke type to let's say a, a dashed and what I'll do is I'll go to my effects panel here and let me close this out. I don't see the effects panel so let's go to the windows menu and I'll go over here to effects and let's say we come down here on the FX and we go ahead and we add a drop shadow move this out of the way and I have preview on down here and so I have added a drop shadow so we'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to save that because maybe that's the frame style I use when I want to put in my product shots or my people shots or whatever. So with that still selected uh, I would go to the window menu to styles and over here is object styles. And so I'm going to bring object styles up again styles, object styles. And I'm going to come over to the pop out menu here and I'm going to make a new object style. And so I'm just going to give this a name. We'll say frame dashed five point black white fill. And down in here under the style settings you see you can come out here and click on stroke and I can see what things are set up. Gap temp, gap color, 100% uh, on the tint, five, five points, black, so on. And if I come over on this side where it says uh, stroke and corner options I can actually click on this and I can actually come in here and change those different things about that particular stroke. So if I want to make changes here I could. But we'll leave it as general and I'm going to click OK. Now that style has been saved so I come up on this top one up here and I'm going to come over to my uh, styles panel here and I'm going to click on this little icon that says clear all effects. So now it's just back down to maybe it's standard situation. Let me clear the stroke out and make it solid here. And so now I'm going to apply my object style of black stroke five point white and shadow. Just drag it over and let go of it and instantly applies to it. In theory I could do the same thing. I could drag this over on this text. And that takes the fill frame and does the same thing here. And if we came down here on this little rectangle, same thing. So it's really easy to reapply that object style onto those different items. So let's go ahead and do uh, just a simple change of style. So like this text down here called test. Uh, I'm going to come over to my FX panel. I'm going to add a drop shadow and move it out of the way so you can see it. I think I'll add another effect. We'll say how about bevel and emboss. I'll let it go with that. It's pretty easy. Click OK. Remember I'm going to go over to my object styles panel. I'm going to go to the pop out menu on the upper right. I'm going to make a new object style and I'm going to name this, uh, let's say, Emboss Shadow. And I'll go ahead and click OK. So now we're going to come up on this pre-existing text that has this applied. I'm going to remove the uh, effects on it. It's already on there and how I do that is if I go to my object styles you can see there is a style up in here if I scroll up through it called none. So that's just one easy way to strip that off there. And then I'll come down to my list here and here is emboss and shadow. I'm just going to click on that and it applies it to that. If I come over on this frame where we put the stroke and the dash, let's see here, I'll run this up to 
none and let's click on uh, let's see what happens when we do the emboss shadow on here not much probably because there's no fill color or anything on that let me add a fill color to that and see if we can make it look a little bit different there we go so now we've got a fill color and we've got the emboss added to that same way down on here on our bar if we come down here and we just go ahead and drag down the emboss shadow let's see how it looks Again, it doesn't have any fill color, so if I add a fill color to it, whoops, let me reselect it here. I'll go ahead and add that to it. So it's really easy to build these object styles and then apply them. Basically, you click the object, you apply the style, you save it like you would a regular style, and then just go ahead and apply it as you need. Um, this is really kind of a slick thing if you're going to do catalogs again if we have a lot of frames and you want to standardize on a certain frame stroke and so on and you know because it is a style I can come over here we'll say on this one right here and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the style from this rectangle scroll up I'm going to pick none so now there's no style applied to it uh, what I'll do here is let's say I apply the plain black stroke fill with white. There we go. And then somebody says, well, you know, I've got all these done. Can you change that to a solid stroke? Sure. So basically I just come over in my uh, style panel, scroll down to that particular style, object style, double click like you would a paragraph style, and then come over here under basic attributes and we'll say stroke. And here, uh, let's say I change the stroke type to a solid. Let's see if it updates. Now you say I don't even have it selected. It's just because that style's been applied to that rectangle over there. And let's see, what's us change the weight of it down to maybe two points. So it's really easy, like paragraph styles or character styles, to go ahead and update wherever you've used that style throughout the whole project. Uh, I hope this speeds up things for you and improves your productivity. Again, this was dealing with object styles. Have a great day.